What's going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod and today we're doing a geek bench test between a ton of different devices. Uh, most importantly, the reason you're here is because the iPad mini was launched today. So you want to see how it stacks up against some of the most popular devices. So we have a few different things here. Of course, the iPad mini is right there. We've also got the iPhone 5, the newest addition to Apple's smartphone lineup on the left. We have the Nexus 7 right here, which is definitely going to be the iPad's top competitor right now, the iPad mini's top competitor. Uh, this features a 7-inch screen, 7.9-inch screen, pretty similar one-handed uh, use form factor that they're going for, and also the big brother to the iPad mini. This is the full-size iPad, third generation. I don't have my hands on the fourth generation that was just released, but this is the uh, older version that was announced this, uh, it was like this May or something. But uh, the newest fourth generation, we, I'll have the scores up for you at the end of this video so you can really compare it, but I'm not going to be able to test it right here on camera. So everything, all the apps on all four of these devices are currently closed. Nothing is running, and I have Geekbench um, ready to open on all of them. I'm not going to be able to open them at the same time, nor am I going to be able to start the test at the same time. But that doesn't really affect it. I should be able to get it within a few seconds of each other. But really, the thing we're going for is the Geekbench scores, which really doesn't affect when I press the button. So it's not really going to matter. Um, I guess I'll just do these two at the same time, the Nexus 7 and the iPad Mini, uh, just because they're competitors, really. So I'm going to tap them at the same time just to see uh, how fast they boot up. And the home screen of Geekbench isn't really an intense app, so, I mean, they should be around the same time. Oh uh, yeah, so I completely just missed the button um, on the iPad mini. So again, the opening the apps don't really matter at all. It doesn't affect the scores of Geekbench, but I'm going to just run through the specs really fast here. We have a 1.3 gig uh, gigahertz, uh, uh, sorry, we have a 1.3 gigahertz Apple A6 chip with the gig of RAM in the iPhone 5. We have the um, a little bit older A5 chip. Uh, 1 gigahertz, it says ARM V7, it's just A5, uh, half a gig of RAM, so gigahertz, half a gig of RAM uh, in the iPad mini. Nexus 7, we have a Tegra 3 quad core 1.3 gigahertz processor with a gig of RAM, so this is actually very similar to the iPhone 5. We'll see how that stacks up. And then in the iPad third generation, we have an Apple A5X uh, processor, 1 gigahertz, a gig of RAM, and of course in the new 4th generation iPad we have the A6X chip. Um, so that's a little bit faster. So I'm just going to hit run on all these devices within a few seconds of each other. The iPhone, the iPad mini, the Nexus 7, and the iPad 3rd generation. We're just going to let them do their things. Uh, it may look a little bit different on the Nexus 7. That's because this is the Android version of Geekbench. Um, of course, the iPhone 5, the iPad mini, as well as the full-size iPad all run Apple's iOS. Looks like our iPhone 5 finished up there. Also, one thing to note is that the iPad mini runs more of a tablet operating system, whereas the Nexus 7 runs kind of a uh, mix between a tablet operating system and a phone operating system. But uh, it's a little bit um, more towards the phone size of an operating system. Just the way apps run, my opinion. Um, but anyway, we have all four of these done. It looks like our iPhone 5 came in first place. Nexus 7 in second place. And then really the iPad mini and the iPad third generation, uh, pretty even. 758 and 753. So it looks like it's pretty even between those two devices. Um, but the iPad... Uh, third generation came a little bit on top of the iPad mini. So I'm going to post the links to all of these score sheets down in the description so you can check out exactly where each tablet st uh, and phone stacked in terms of what it did well in and what it did poorly in. Uh, really the um, the iPad mini and the iPad third generation did very well but you can see the competitors, the uh, iPad mini and the Nexus 7. Really, the Nexus 7 just kills the iPad in terms of specs, um, in terms of the speeds and everything, and you would expect that looking at the specs of these two devices. A bigger screen size on the iPad mini um, than the Nexus 7. So again, I'll put all the scores down in the description. The iPad 4th generation, you're going to get something in the 1700s, 
which is insane. 1700s for a tablet, that's, you know, it's a little bit above the iPhone 5, but coming from the third generation at, and at around 750 and adding a thousand in score to that, that's just really fast. So again, all of these scores are in the description. I just kind of wanted to show you how these stack up against each other. Um, if you want to see some more iPhone 5 coverage, make sure you hit that subscribe, or sorry, iPad mini coverage, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm also going to be having an in-depth comparison of the iPad mini and the Nexus 7. Um, I'll probably have that up either tomorrow or Sunday. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also, check out in the description all of the score sheets so you can see exactly what they did. Again, the score is iPhone 5, 1,647, iPad mini, 753, Nexus 7, uh, 1,508, and the iPad 3rd generation, 758. Of course, the iPad 4th generation, you're going to get somewhere in the 1700s. Now for today's deal of the day. Today's deal is the Case Case Flip Stand for the iPad mini. This is a neat little video stand that's only 6 bucks on Amazon. The link is in the description if you want to go check it out. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Again, I'll catch you on my next video. See ya. If you want to check out any of my other iPad mini videos, I have a ton of them, and there's a playlist that contains all of them. So you can click on the screen right now, and if you're watching on a mobile device, the link for the playlist will also be in the description.